Danny. Yeah. Let's get started. So, Danny is a 2000 graduate from Palmer College in Iowa, but he is not from the US of A. No. He is originally from Melbourne in Australia. Wonderful. Yep. And where are you now? Tell us your story a little um, bit. Well, I practiced just outside Frankfurt, Germany. Uh, straight after graduation in uh, October 2000, I went to Germany, to the north of Germany, and uh, worked as an associate for about three, three and a half years in the north of Germany, not too far from where you come from, and um, then set up uh, my own place just outside Frankfurt, where I've been ever since, sort of uh, approaching the last 10 years. That's fantastic. Yeah. So, tell us a little bit about chiropractic in Germany. Most people only know about how chiropractic functions here in the U.S. How uh -huh. is it different? How, what kind of challenges are you finding? Um, well, chiropractic is different uh, for a number of reasons. One is the total different scope of education that chiropractors get in Europe. Not everyone who practices in Europe was educated in North America. Um, quite a lot of them were educated in England or in Wales, and some of them in France, some of them in Denmark. Um, and the other difference is um, the lot less numbers of chiropractors that we have. I mean, in Germany has 82 million people, and we have just over 100 chiropractors. Wow. Yeah, that's so, wow. so the ratio between uh, members of the public and chiropractors is 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 huge. Yeah. Um, which of course has its advantages, but it also has its disadvantages. So, it tends to be a bit of a microcosm uh, of the macrocosm of the United States. Or A lot of the issues, um, just on a lot smaller scale. And how are the people in Germany responding to chiropractic, since it's pretty unknown there? Yeah. How do they respond to it? Well, we have we have a problem in Germany in that the chiropractic profession is not recognised. Yeah. Um, because there's no German-speaking course of study, so um, it's it's possible for people to have a few weekend courses in chiropractic methods, yeah, and then start practicing as a chiropractor. Um, now, just like uh, people in, in our profession, yeah, uh, there are squirrels in, in that part of the profession and there are squirrels in this part of the profession too. But um, quite, a lot of, quite a lot of these people actually, when you take the time to sit down and talk with them, uh, think and talk and walk our kind of chiropractic. Yeah, meaning detection and correction of vertebral subluxation. And not a whole lot more, not a whole lot less, and not a whole lot else. Yeah? Um, I mean, there's a bit of a there's a bit of a, a dogma against these people generally, um, but like I said, a lot of them are philosophically very, very strong, and uh, and very, very good adjusters. I mean, when we look back at the history of chiropractic, uh, Palmer was originally talking about a nine month course, yeah, and then a twelve month course, and then an eighteen month course, yeah. So it, it's not really about the length of your education. Well, Reggie yeah. had his whole spinology school. Well, you know, ex exactly right. Just for adjustment. All right, so it's not about you know the, the, the quantity of education you have; yeah. it's about the quality of education you have, and and you know, how good the quality of education is um, that these people have. I, I'm not really sure because I've never been there and I've never spoken to the people who, who do that. Um, but like I said, a lot of the people who I've spoken to are philosophically and technically very very strong. Yeah. Danny, how about the people you see in your office? Yeah. Uh, how how are they responding to chiropractic? Um, they love it. Yeah, like unfortunately, I don't know how it really happens, but unfortunately, most people, most members of the public, associate chiropractic with head pain, neck pain, back pain. Yeah, just like and here. Uh, just just like here, okay. Um, and because we're so indoctrinated to thinking that way, because we're raised that way, that we go to the doctor when something hurts or when something's wrong or when we're sick, um, most of the people do start coming in like that. But um, when we when we have a look at them and determine if or not they're subluxated, and then explain what kind of chiropractic we practice, um, and then show them their options to take part in that, um, then it's just a total turnaround. And uh, when they get turned on to this kind of chiropractic, they just take off. So it goes really, really well. See, that's good. When our, our vision and our mission, we're all on the same page. It, very much. It makes life so much easier being very a chiropractor. Much. Because very we much. can very easily refer people back and forth to any of our offices, and we're all saying the same. Message. And absolutely know that these people are going to get the same type of care, the same high right. quality of care, and being told exactly the same thing. Yeah, totally. When yeah, very at, important. When I looked at your website, it, it clearly states your mission, your vision is on yeah. there, and so it's pretty awesome. Yeah, I, I tend to practice simple stupid, or what I call simple stupid. Yeah, and. Um, 
I practice also with the philosophy, do as little as you possibly can, but as specifically as you possibly can. Uh, we just find that our people do a whole lot better when they get adjusted like that. And the website was, was kind of set up. Oh, Peter Kabuki is there. Yes. yes. Uh, if anybody can hear that laugh, there you, I'm not you sure know if you can where hear that or not. You, you know Peter. Yeah, you know yeah. where Peter Kabuki is at there all times. Yeah. I don't know if the mic caught that though. I'm not sure if the mic, yeah. the mic did catch sure that. I'm pretty sure it did. There you go. So Peter Kevorkian was on the show last time. We didn't get him to laugh like that. No, we didn't. <laughs> but, but somebody must have said something funny to but him. But I think that's everybody's yep. goal. Wherever they see yeah, Peter, people yeah. are trying to make him laugh. And, yeah, that, that's one thing <laughs> we forgot to so. do last time. <laughs> <laughs> but it was fun. That's yeah. fantastic. Yeah. Uh, so I so, uh, just want to throw that out there. Uh, yeah, before nice. we wrap up, we'll ask Danny any of your questions. Yes, and please be sure to share on Facebook that you're watching right now so that your friends can join in. Sweet. Um, on Facebook, obviously, IFCO Cairo. IFC, IFCO Cairo slash... No, no, the Facebook is facebook.com slash IFCO Cairo. That's yes. It. I knew I was going to mess it up. Yeah, yeah, no, no worries, Brent. Uh, but, so, First time you so, guys should know. I'm, I'm glad I asked because we just got our first I question. I told him that's his job. So, so Dan, you feel like answering a question? Jim, hey, you want to say hi? Are you filming? Yeah, of course we are. Good morning. Where's, where's we're the camera? There you go, right, right there. The power that made the body heals the body. There you go. It goes no, no other way. way. Jimmy Dubell. The man who created everything. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Because of him, we get to be here at new yep. beginnings and get to have this set up here, so we're very appreciative of all his efforts that he lets us Well, um, looks all. like uh, our audience is having a little uh, kidding with you. Uh, oh. So he sent in a, a question, but I think it's not such a... <laughs> Who's it from? I, uh, I don't know, guest 321. Okay. It says, have you ever adjusted a kangaroo? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I would like uh, to know thanks, that too, Thanks for that question, <laughs> but... Um, no, I mean, no, the, only, the closest I came to adjusting a kangaroo was running one over with my car. Oh, oh no my goodness! <laughs> that was an, that was an introduction of a force. Yeah. Well, it happens. Yeah, that, They're like deer. Sometimes they run across the street. Oh my god! Yeah, yeah. but um, yeah, that was a, a perfect example of the limitations of matter. He didn't survive the adjustment. Yeah. Oh wow! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, so, uh, ask us more questions. There you go. I mean, I've, I've adjusted a dog. I've adjusted horses. I've adjusted cats. Nice. Um, I had a go at adjusting a bird, but that didn't go well. Um, I've adjusted goats. That's about it. Awesome. Yeah, awesome. never adjusted a fish That's like right. Chris Kent has. <laughs> wow. I was asked to adjust an alligator once. Oh. A patient of mine has really? eight alligators in her home, and she asked me to come up and check it. I alligators? had the hardest time palpating through that thing out of shell. Like, did you see palpating? Yes. Oh, they're they're kind of friendly. They actually crawled into bed with him. Oh, they're kind of friendly, you know, until they bite your head off. Yeah, yeah no, they're okay. It was a very odd oh, situation, though. Let oh, me my it. goodness. Well, well, Danny, now, I know you have a big family practice, so you see mom, dad, children, everybody yep. in the office, right? Now, uh, how are you doing with the children in the office? Yeah, lot, seeing lots of kids? Um, we do see a lot of children, yeah, absolutely. Um, before people know that we are just kids, because people don't automatically know that right. we see kids. Um uh, they say, oh, well, you know, I have my, my kids with me, so I you know, I'm, I don't know what I should do with them, and our automatic response is, we'll just bring them in. Oh, but they're going to rip the place apart. I said, relax a little bit. We'll put you in a time when most kids are here, and then you'll see what we're talking about. Yeah. So there are some afternoons, which is, it's just like a, a kid's birthday party. Yeah, and they open up the door, and there's just kids running around, throwing building blocks everywhere, reading yeah. through books, yeah, with crayons and paper and stuff. Um, and then they pretty quickly realize that we also adjust a lot of kids and families and things like that. And then right. it's just a bit of a, um, like we say in German, a Selbstläufer. Yeah? And then it just, it just goes by itself, just takes off and they start talking and they start discussing why are they here and or you know, your child's getting adjusted or maybe I should get mine adjusted or at least checked and things like that. It just takes off all by itself. So, so we've all been out of school for about 10 or 12 years or so. Yeah. So let's give the audience a tip on something that they can do in their practice to help them grow and... and Actually, may I add to oh, that yeah, a sure. twist on the, exactly that question? We need more chiropractors in Germany, yes. right? We need yes. IFCO people, we need good chiropractic chiropractors yep. in Germany. Yep. You went to Germany yep. not having have the grasp of the language. Well, I spoke two words and I'm not going to tell you what those words exactly. were. Exactly. <laughs> um, but completely different country yeah. and set up shop and do yeah. your thing. Can you encourage other people to do the same thing? Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, when, when, I, when I went to the States to study, my plan 
although I didn't have a plan, but I just assumed I'd go back to Australia and start practicing. Um, but um, I, I, I had a German girlfriend through through my course of study, and uh, we had a job offer from Germany, and uh, we just we just went to Germany to try it out, and uh, and we just took off, and that, and that was it. Yeah. Wow. And, uh, and you How know, I've been there the last thirteen you to years. Learn the language. Um, look, the first three weeks were pretty hairy. You know, uh, like case histories were sort of you know a charade session. Um, look, I'd say three or four months. To have to have pretty good conversational German, where I could, you know, speak to anybody about chiropractic or or, or a general everyday kind of conversation. Um, but I'd sort of say, you know, six, nine, twelve months, and I was pretty fluent. Yeah, I mean, as as you can hear when we speak German, you of course hear my accent, and you of course hear my grammatical mistakes. Yeah, but German's a very difficult language grammatically, but. Um, as you know, you know, you can understand me pretty good. Oh, absolutely. So, so it's very possible. And you would recommend for people that are thinking, hey, let's go somewhere else. Go to Germany, be part of the IMC. Yeah, ab absolutely, absolutely. Um, but at the same time, <clears throat> although chiropractic's not regulated in Germany, um, I'm one of those people that, um, uh, that, that, that thinks or, or is of the opinion, do it right. Because there are there are some countries in Europe where um, foreigners take advantage of that non-regulation, meaning they come in, they work hard for a little while, they earn a little bit of money, and then maybe they don't behave themselves as as, as well as they probably could. Yeah. So, if you're going to come to Germany, please do, um, but please bring um, a strong philosophy and pr please bring uh, a strong uh, code of ethics or moral code. Because if you're going to do it, let's do it right. Because um, Europe is is a potential um, a potential hotspot for chiropractic and chiropractic can explode in Europe but we want the right people doing the right thing there so uh, don't come to screw around come to work hard and uh, and uh, promulgate positive vitalistic subluxation based chiropractic awesome that sounds great oh, do we have another question coming we, in we do have another question and it's a real question this time. oh okay <laughs> must All be right. from Schubel so we have, uh, how are doctors in Germany using social media to connect with each other and their patients? Um, I, look, th there, are, there are some uh, that do use it and, and we are connected, um, but it's nowhere near as it is here in the States and, and it's probably not as effectively or, or used en masse as it probably could. Yeah, um, I mean, uh, Dr. Guy Rickman spoke a little bit uh, yesterday morning about and using social media just to explode that network of chiropractors and chiropractic people. Um, so yes, they, they are they are dabbling in it and and, and, and and there is a contact there and they do use it, but uh, with a whole lot of potential for even more. Right. So there's a lot of potential then to reach even more people. Very much. But yeah. I, I always find with all my German friends on Facebook, yeah. they are much more private. They're very afraid of right. any. You know, Big Brother knowing too much, <laughs> yeah. so they don't. People don't post. It's uh -huh. tenth of the amount that Americans will yeah. post. So yeah, the, the, that same connection. I just went to my chiropractor and had my spine checked. You don't get that. No, you don't. Like get, you you do don't it. get a lot of that. I think. Uh, I think that's probably a, a pretty important and interesting cultural difference. Yeah, I think the Germans, um, when you first get to know them, are a, are a little reserved. Yeah, and, and a little bit more private than the North Americans, but um, when they warm up to you and when you when you develop a relationship with them, then they're very warm people. Yeah, very very heartfelt, very friendly, uh, very hospitable people. Yeah, uh, with a very very good sense of humour. Yeah? yeah. So I think once you've established that relationship with them, then they're then they're more than happy to share things with you. But like off the bat, like you said, it's a little bit different but than, they than might our not North American friends. In a right. social media setting. Yeah. yeah. Not yet at least. Yes. And I think that's great what you brought up before, Bryn, is uh, we need more chiropractors around the world. And so if you're thinking about going to another country, whether it's Germany or Peru, like Liam Schubel did, or, uh, or any country, uh, you can do it, and you just have to learn language. And chiropractic is the same everywhere on the planet. It's well, just you have to yeah. tell the proper story and, and educate the people properly, uh, and then practice to flourish. Now, if everybody, anybody was interested in
chiropractic in Germany and finding out and all this, would it be okay for them to contact you? Absolutely, of course. On no Facebook, problem. Danny Constable? Uh, right? On Facebook under Danny Constable or you can write me an email at any time. Uh, my email address is dannydoessot at gmail.com. Very good. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I am an SOT um, and yes, it is possible to practice subluxation-based chiropractic yep. using SOT. Um, or they can visit the website at www.chiropracticconstable.com. But um, okay? Chiropractic no, English, English chiropractic. chiropractic. Yeah, we have an English and a German version. So, Very good. Um, what do we say? Facebook, email, website. Um, that's about it. My phone number. I'm not going to give you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. The charges might be a little yeah, higher if you don't there have you the international. So, yeah, but of course. So, Dan, before you go, oh, this is being recorded too. So you're going to be able to rewatch this okay. later on if you wanted to watch it in your office or like, for me I put these up in my office and let oh, them run all day long and people interact and they say oh you know they talk about chiropractic yeah. in the office hey, so, goodbye from USA uh, uh, all right so we're, we're gonna wrap things up with Danny uh, and uh, we're gonna go on to our next guest who is coming in it's gonna be Sam Salimo Great. and he's gonna be up next he just got done speaking on stage awesome. yes the, the break room here at New Beginnings is filled with people um, yeah. Great energy, you know, and we can't wait for tonight. Uh, absolutely, the Halloween, Halloween party. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Danny, thank you so much for stopping by. It, it was Thanks awesome. Yeah. Yep. Pleasure. Yep. And I'll check out with you later on throughout the day.